Tonight, the Short North Alliance issuing a statement after gunfire rocked the community. 10 TV was on the scene late last night, moments after someone opened fire. The executive director telling 10 TV, like other parts of the city, it's been impacted by an unprecedented increase in violent crime. Betsy Pandora adds, quote, through our recent efforts, we have seen an overall reduction in violent incidents in the Short North community over the past two months. Last night's gunfire happened near High Street on East 3rd Avenue, as you can see on this map. Crime Tracker 10's Angela Ann looks into the trends we're seeing. The Short North is a hot destination just north of downtown Columbus, but this latest shooting is starting to feel like the norm for this area. Police say at least seven shots were fired from a drive-by shooting. One person was hurt by the shattered glass when a bullet hit a car window. Fortunately, no one was actually hit by the gunfire, but a lot of people who frequent High Street for the restaurants and the bars saw a heavy police presence when this went down just before 10 o'clock last night. Now, you might remember Crime Tracker 10 reported on similar shootings in the Short North in the past several months. In September, there was a shootout right on High Street and 2nd Avenue. Patrons scrambled to avoid the gunfire, and one man was shot in the foot. There was another shooting this summer that injured four people in the same area. So we took a deeper look at all the criminal activity in the Short North. Our Crime Tracker 10 map shows the crimes from car break-ins to more serious crimes. We chose specifically between 1st and 5th Avenues along High Street where most people go. In the past month, there was an assault and two robberies that took place not far from each other. So you can see this map for yourself right now. Just go to this website, 10tv.com slash Crime Tracker 10. I'm Angela Ann, back to you.